In this video, you're gonna learn how to add a service to your page using the Meta Business Suite. This is the perfect place for you to add your services with a description and choose whether or not you want it public or private on your page. Now, just before we get started with today's video, please don't forget to smash that like button down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And with that said, let's show you how to add a service to your business page using the Meta Business Suite. Okay, so here we are on the Facebook page for the business. And if you click over to services next to the home button, you can see here that we have one service listed at the moment. Now for the purpose of today's tutorial, we're going to delete that service and we're gonna show you how to set up your very first service using the Meta Business Suite. And in order to do that, we just need to navigate over to the Meta Business Suite icon over on the left-hand side and click on it, and that is then going to take us to the Meta Business Suite homepage. From the Meta Business Suite homepage, we are then going to scroll to the drop down menu here and click on All Tools. And that is going to bring up all of the tools, and we need to scroll down until we see Services. And once we open the Services tool, you'll see a blank screen here with the available services hidden services, and the ability to add a service. Now, because we haven't got any services at the moment, we're going to scroll down and click on add a service. This is then going to bring up a little section here with a couple of areas that we need to fill in and complete. So let's work down the process from top to bottom. Starting with the service name, let's go with Facebook marketing. We're going to give the description, something that is easy for anybody to understand. Full Facebook lead generation marketing for businesses spending at least $1,000. We're then going to determine the price. And for this one, it really depends on whether you've got a set fee for your pricing or whether it varies from person to person. For this one here, we can go from starting from, and let's put our baseline package in at $999 per month. The duration, we don't have a duration for this period, but if your business does, you can go to fixed duration and you can select the time period from start to finish. You also have approximate duration which again is hours and minutes and duration varies if you don't have a set time. The final thing we want to do is add a photo and this has to be one which is generally a good reflection of what your business is all about. And if it's about um, Facebook marketing, it's best to go with something that uh, reflects that quite well. So in this example, I'm just going to use a photo of myself because that is um, who the marketing is going to be done by and gives people a good idea of what it's all about. Now, we're then going to head back to our business page and then we're going to have a look and see if that service has indeed been added to the page. So let's click over into the page and go to the services section. And just going to the services section, and there you go. We can see here, we now have Facebook marketing duration varies starting from 999. If you want to have a look at uh, how it appears for someone who is looking at it um, as a visitor, you just change your interaction from your business to your personal one, and that will then give you the chance to have a look at it. And Obviously, what it's going to do is anyone that is interested in it is going to send you a message. So that's the first service. At any time, if you don't want to display the service publicly on your business page, we can always click on the three dots here and hide it. Or if you want to remove it completely, you can click on the delete button. So let's say we want to hide the service over here and click on hide. 
it's then going to be moved over from available services into hidden services. And if we refresh the page here, you're going to see that the service is visible now, but if we change it to a public one, where we're coming in as a visitor, there are no services to show. So that's it for today's tutorial, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to leave a like down below and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.